All right, so it looks like we made it to the roof. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Damn, that was fucking fantastic. Way better than I expected it to be. Looking back, to be honest, I'm gonna have to say one of the best single player campaigns for a first person shooter I've ever played. I mean, it definitely topped Battlefield 3. But, you know. Battlefield 3 wasn't made to be a single player game, they just added that to try to compete with this. And, uh, they didn't do it. But DICE did what they did best, or they did what they do best, and they made one of the best multiplayer games I've played in this console generation. Uh, you know, it had its problems at launch, but Me and my friends play it, you know, a couple nights a week. We don't have any problems with, like, lag or trouble finding a match. There's always a match for us. Why does the camera glitch when I move my tripod? But, yeah. I guess this is, uh, the final... Modern Warfare, at least for these characters. 
Uh, maybe we'll get a Modern Warfare 4, but you know, hopefully if we do, it's with different characters. Because these guys have pretty much run their course. I mean, soap's dead. That fucking sucks. You know. You would think that's like Sandman and Frost and them would like take over the story, but we didn't see them die, but we assumed that they died. Uh, Makarov's dead. And as this game revealed, he was pretty much behind everything that's happened since the first game. You know. The only character really left alive is Soap. Or, not Soap, I'm sorry, Price. Still can't believe Soap died. Long ass credits, can I skip this? No. Ugh. So yeah, I got I don't know, about an hour until Skyrim launches. Or it's already launched. It had its midnight release, but I didn't wasn't able to go to it because my store wasn't doing it. Because the store I pre-ordered it at is inside of a mall. So, you know, you guys can check out the unboxing of that later. It's not going to be the collector's edition. I didn't go all out this time. Uh, I didn't really feel like dropping 150 bucks on a, a plastic dragon. Although I did see the IGN unboxing and the dragon is badass. Look how many Mark... Andres there are. So yeah, I guess I could send this game back to Gamefly today. And, uh, hopefully they'll either ship me Assassin's Creed Revelations or Saints Row the Third on March Day. And, yeah, hey, that's cool right there. Kingfish. Look at Ghost. Continue to special ops. I've already played special ops. I played it on my other name, though, with my online account. Main menus. We were able to finish it in uh, four hours and two minutes. It's got to be like a record time. Uh, we only did 55% though. <laughs> Let's see, do they give us that? Wow, Act 3 was very short this time. And now I'm getting a phone call. For those of you that can hear the ring, yeah, it already subbed. It's kind of fitting because the last game, Modern Warfare 2, Somebody made a musical remix to uh, Dark Side Phil's multiplayer videos, and they called it I Spawn, I Die, and I was able to turn that into a ringtone. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I guess that's it. Uh, like I said, you guys can come back in a couple hours and check for that Skyrim unboxing. I'm going to upload these now. I think I made it to about... Maybe like 17 parts. So, pretty short, but, you know. It's a first-person shooter game. They're all pretty short. So, yeah. Come back later and check that out if you're interested. And, uh... Just want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to... Like the video, 
subscribe if you like it, and be on the lookout for more.